Okay, guys. So we're still talking about some complications of uh, gonorrhea. Okay. So this is what is known as um, <coughs> gonococcal pharyngitis. All right, gonococcal pharyngitis. So this is more of like what pharyngitis that's inflammation of the pharynx normally. Just that this one is caused by a complication of gonorrhea. Do you understand? It's also known as what? It's the normal sore throat, you know. Just that this one is a complication of somebody. Somebody has a pending gonorrhea infection. You understand? So gonorrhea pharyngitis, all right? Or they call it gonococcal pharyngitis. Anyhow you want to say. So it's a throat infection caused by necessary gonorrhea. That's the same bacteria responsible for gonorrhea. It's a typical sexual transmission. That's like oral sex. So you have been practicing oral sex. So instead of the gonorrhea to go into your reproductive system, it is actually being introduced into your mouth. You understand? So um, it is typically transmitted through what oral contact with an infected partner. So symptoms is many cases of gonococcal pharyngitis are asymptomatic, meaning people may not realize they have it. But however, some symptoms may come up like sore throat, redness and swelling in the throat. All right, you see them there. Whitish or yellowish exudates on the tonsils. You have difficulties swallowing. That's disfigure because there's pain, there's inflammation, swollen lymph nodes in the neck. All right. So since gonococcal pharyngitis can resemble other throat infections like strep throat, throat all right, or candidiasis, so diagnosis requires a throat swab. So they will now do what a nucleic acid amplification test just to confirm the presence of necessary gonorrhea. So treatments use antibiotics as gonorrhea must be treated to prevent complications. Right. So that was what um, gonococcal pharyngitis simply means.